yellow version. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Three bears lived in their own house in the woods. There was a big father bear with a deep voice, a mother bear of medium size with a moderate voice, and a little baby bear with a small voice. One morning, the three bears were out for a walk, waiting for their breakfast of milk and honey to cool. Then, a mischievous girl named Goldilocks, who had run away from home, came across their house. She peeked through the window to see if anyone was home. Finding there was nobody in the house, she entered the kitchen and decided to try the bear family's breakfast. Father bear's porridge was too hot, mother bear's porridge was too cold, but baby bear's porridge was just right, so she ate it all up. Afterward, Goldilocks went into the living room to rest and saw three chairs. Father bear's chair was too hard, mother bear's chair was too soft, but baby bear's chair was just right. Unfortunately, when she sat on the baby bear's chair, the chair broke. Curiosity led Goldilocks up the narrow stairs to the bear's bedroom. She tried out Father Bear's bed, but it was too high for her. The Mother Bear's bed was too low, but the Baby Bear's bed was just right, so she fell fast asleep on it. When the three hungry bears returned home, Father Bear roared, Someone has tasted my breakfast and sat in my chair. Mother Bear growled, Someone has tasted my breakfast and sat in my chair too. Baby Bear cried, Someone has tasted my breakfast, eaten it all up, sat in my chair, and broken it. The bears hurried upstairs, and Father Bear exclaimed, Someone has been on my bed. Mother Bear added, Someone has been on my bed as well. Baby Bear, in a panic, shouted, Someone has been in my bed and she's right here. Goldilocks woke up, terrified. She quickly jumped out of the bed on the other side, rushed to the window, and escaped. She ran home as fast as she could, never to return to the bear's house again. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Version 2 Green Version once upon a time, in a cozy cottage nestled deep within the woods, there lived a family of three bears, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. They were a happy family, and their home was filled with love and warmth. One fine morning, Mama Bear decided to make some porridge for breakfast. She carefully cooked three bowls of delicious porridge. One big bowl for Papa Bear, a medium-sized bowl for Mama Bear, in a small bowl for baby bear. But as the porridge was still steaming hot, the bears decided to go for a walk in the woods while it cooled down. While the bears were away, a mischievous little girl named Goldilocks happened upon their cottage. Curiosity got the better of her, and she couldn't resist exploring the open door. She stepped inside and found herself in the bear's cozy living room. As she looked around, she noticed the three bowls of porridge on the table. Goldilocks was feeling hungry after her long walk, so she decided to help herself to the porridge. She first tasted the porridge from Papa Bear's big bowl, but it was much too hot for her tongue. She then tried Mama Bear's medium-sized bowl, but found it to be too cold. Finally, she tasted the porridge in Baby Bear's small bowl, and it was just right. Goldilocks happily finished up Baby Bear's porridge. With her hunger satisfied, Goldilocks moved to the next room where she found three chairs. She first sat on Papa Bear's big chair, but it was too hard and uncomfortable. Then she tried Mama Bear's medium-sized chair, but it was too soft and made her feel as though she might sink. Finally, she sat on Baby Bear's small chair, and it was just right. But as she settled in, the chair couldn't bear her weight and broke into pieces. Not bothered by the broken chair, Goldilocks decided to explore upstairs. She found three beds in the bedroom, and without hesitation, she laid down on Papa Bear's big bed. 
it was far too firm for her liking. She then tried Mama Bear's medium-sized bed, but it was too soft and lumpy. Finally, she lay down on Baby Bear's small bed, and it was just right. The bed was so comfortable that she quickly drifted off to sleep. Meanwhile, the three bears returned from their walk, only to discover that someone had been inside their home. Papa Bear growled in anger, Mama Bear looked around in surprise, and Baby Bear cried out in distress. They realized that someone had tasted their porridge, sat in their chairs, and slept in their beds. As they entered the bedroom, Goldilocks woke up to the sight of three furious bears staring at her. She shrieked in fright, quickly jumped out of Baby Bear's bed, and ran downstairs. The bears chased after her, but Goldilocks managed to escape through the front door just in time. From that day forward, Goldilocks learned her lesson about entering others' homes without permission. And as for the bears, they always made sure to eat their porridge, sit in their chairs, and sleep in their beds together as a family. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Purple Version Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a cozy house in the woods. The father bear was big with a deep voice, the mother bear was of medium size with a moderate voice, and the baby bear was small with a tiny voice. One morning, as the bears went for a walk and left their breakfast of milk and honey to cool, a disobedient and curious girl named Goldilocks happened upon their house. She peeked through the window and, finding no one inside, boldly entered the kitchen. Goldilocks couldn't resist the temptation of the delicious breakfast before her. She tasted the porridge from the father bear's bowl and found it to be too hot. The porridge from the mother bear's bowl was too cold for her liking. Finally, she tried the porridge from the baby bear's bowl, and it was just right, so she ate it all up. Feeling a bit tired after her meal, Goldilocks made her way to the living room. There, she found three chairs. She sat on the father bear's chair, but it was too hard. The mother bear's chair was too soft. However, the baby bear's chair was just right. Unfortunately, it couldn't withstand Goldilocks' weight, and it broke under her. Not discouraged by the broken chair, Goldilocks ventured upstairs to the bear's bedroom. She climbed onto the father bear's bed but found it too high for her. The mother bear's bed was too low. Finally, she settled on the baby bear's bed, which was just right. Exhausted, she fell fast asleep. As luck would have it, the three bears returned home, feeling hungry. Father bear bellowed, someone has tasted my breakfast and sat on my chair. Mother Bear grumbled, someone has tasted my breakfast and sat on my chair too. Baby Bear cried out, someone has tasted my breakfast, eaten it all up, sat on my chair, and broken it. All of them went upstairs to the bedroom. Father Bear roared, someone has been on my bed. Mother Bear growled, someone has been on my bed as well. Baby Bear shrieked, Someone has been in my bed, and she's right here. Goldilocks woke up, startled and frightened. She quickly jumped out of the bed and, without thinking twice, leaped out of the window. She ran home as fast as her legs could carry her, never to return to the bear's house again. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Red Version Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in their own house in the woods. The father bear was big and had a booming voice, 
The mother bear was of medium size with a moderate voice, and the baby bear was small and had a tiny voice. One morning, the three bears went for a walk, leaving their breakfast of milk and honey to cool. A disobedient and adventurous girl named Goldilocks happened to pass by and peered through their window. Finding no one inside, she entered the kitchen and decided to sample their breakfast. She found that the father bear's porridge was too hot, the mother bear's porridge was too cold, but the baby bear's porridge was just right, so she ate it all up. Feeling a bit tired, she moved to the parlor and noticed three chairs. The father bear's chair was too hard, the mother bear's chair was too soft, but the baby bear's chair was just right. However, when she sat on it, the chair broke under her weight. As Goldilocks didn't care about the broken chair, she made her way upstairs to the bear's bedroom. She tried the father bear's bed, but it was too high for her. The mother bear's bed was too low. But the baby bear's bed was just right, and she fell fast asleep on it. Soon enough, the three bears returned home, feeling hungry. The father bear roared, someone has tasted my breakfast and sat on my chair. The mother bear growled, someone has tasted my breakfast and sat on my chair too. The baby bear screamed, someone has tasted my breakfast, eaten it all up, sat on my chair, and broken it down. Alarmed by their discovery, the bears hurriedly went upstairs. The father bear bellowed, someone has been on my bed. The mother bear grumbled, someone has been on my bed too. The baby bear cried out, someone has been in my bed, and here she is. Goldilocks woke up abruptly, frightened by the commotion. She quickly jumped out of the bed on the opposite side, rushed to the window, and ran back to her home as fast as she could, never to return to the three bears' house again.